BookTube, Riley here. It's New Year's Eve and my kids are sleeping, which is awesome. My husband's out running errands, so I thought I would get some filming done today. Um, I wanted to do a review of a book that I read this week. I actually read it in one sitting in about three hours, which was awesome for me. I love when I can do a quick read. It makes me feel accomplished and makes my life easier. I'm not trying to pick a book up like a hundred times when I've got kids running around and all that sort of thing. So the book that I read was Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. I know I'm about 14 years late on this bandwagon, but I saw it recently on Goodreads. It had good ratings and I thought it sounded really great. I really love those typical young adults set in high school kind of books, especially when they're quick reads. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that I like all in one book. So I thought I'd give it a shot. There's also a sequel called Love Stargirl. I have that one also and I'm hoping to read that possibly tomorrow so that I can do a follow-up review on how I like the sequel. They were also supposed to be making a movie adaptation of the book. I don't know whether it was just of the original or whether it was going to be the original and the sequel put together. Um, I haven't read the sequel so I can't really even guess as to what they would do. But um, that was supposed to come out in 2009. It's five years later and they haven't even started filming apparently, so I don't know whether that's still happening or not. Um, I think it would make a really great movie though, so I do hope that they come out with that eventually. And I think that it would revitalize the book and bring the story to the next younger generation. I think the book is a really good read for anyone who likes young adult, um, especially girls who are still teenagers. It's a really typical story and the way that Jerry wrote it I found it a little bit predictable only in the plot not necessarily in the characters or the way they reacted to things not even in the minor plot points like those were all really creative and different from other books that I've read but the overall um, like main story arc of the plot is really typical, you know, it takes place in a high school, it's about a bunch of teenage kids, it's about peer pressure and being different and fitting in and all those same things that most young adult books talk about, even though their minor details to the plot could be completely different, they could be vampires or they could be, you know what I mean? Um, so other than the story being a little bit predictable, which I mean, that happens when you always read one genre, I find. I mean, I can pretty much always pinpoint what's going to happen 10 pages from now. But other than that, I think the story was really well written. I think it was creative and took a different approach to this typical young adult story. And I think the characters were really well rounded. I think Jerry did a really great job of making the characters real and believable but still creative and not like every other single person that's ever gone to high school in North America. But for that I think the book was really great. I love Stargirl, I love her character, and I'm really excited to read the sequel. So if you have read Stargirl I would love to hear your thoughts on it and I would definitely love to hear if you thought that the sequel was worth reading and if it you know, added anything to the story that you thought it was lacking or if it was just sort of an addendum and you could have done with or without it. Um, I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that and if anyone wants I can film a follow-up video to this after I've read the sequel and let you know what I thought about that. So if you like young adult books and you haven't read Stargirl yet, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's a quick read, you'll be able to get through it in a day and um, I did really enjoy it. So. That is my quick review of Stargirl by Jerry Spinelli. Hope you guys all have a really awesome New Year's Eve. Stay safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll see you next time. Bye, booktube.